Hello there, welcome back. Um, I'm just about to start the uh, M Gown Traverse Trek, which is uh, about 57 kilometres all in all. Um, I just wanted to uh, say a few things before I headed out. Uh, uh, it starts in uh, Aguti, which is the, the village behind me, uh, and it's about a four day trek. Um, not too difficult. Um, in better weather conditions, you could probably do it with your family with the little ones as well. Um, uh, yeah, as I say, it's four days and it ends in uh, Ati. Hang on a minute. Uh, Ati Allah. Um, yeah, somewhere over there. <laughs> anyway, I'll just show you that. That's hopefully the sun won't get in the way. Uh, but that's where we're going. Um, just in between. I don't know if you can see the. Uh, just beneath that big peak there, there's a, a V in the mountains. Uh, that's where the trail is, or the head of the trail starts anyway. Um, uh, yeah, basically this trail follows the, uh, the northeastern slopes of the Mgaon Massif. Uh, then it drops down into the uh, Tessa Alp River Valley, which uh, apparently all of this trail is absolutely beautiful, so I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to try and keep these videos short and Hello. stuff. Oh, Hello. <laughs> all the people here are fantastically friendly. Um, as I've found in, in all of Morocco, to be honest. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's a really beautiful place. Um, I hope this is the start of the trail. <laughs> Basically, I asked the, the lady back at the um, uh, one of the guest houses here uh, after I'd had a probably the most incredible, uh, well, not Spanish omelet, but Moroccan omelet I've ever had in my entire life so far. Um, and enough tea to uh, basically uh, last me three days. Uh, and probably enough sugar in that tea to last me uh, for, until the rest of the year. Um, anyway, uh, a few tips basically, um, and I'm going to try and make this quick. Um, it has obviously, as you can see, it has been snowing rather quite a lot last night. I'm pretty sure most of it was last night. It's, um, I know it looks cold here, but it's absolutely uh, really hot with the sun and all that. So. Um, I'm not wearing them now, but I do strongly recommend going through the mountains uh, normally. Um, plus, uh, now with the snow, uh, really good polarised uh, sunglasses. Um, <laughs> and we have come the wrong way, so I'm going to go back that way. But um, as well as sunglasses, sun cream, definitely, uh, at least factor 30. Um, uh, what else? Um, yeah, because because the sun's out and it's already snowed, I'm treating this area now, like uh, especially the valley that I'll be walking through in a little bit, like it's springtime. Uh, and when the snow is slightly melting and there's a lot more uh, water on the ground, um, ex don't expect rock slides, but they are a, a strong possibility because of the movement of the water through the ground. So be on the, be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'll go into more about um, kit and stuff in, in another uh, well, it's probably already on, on the channel anyway, um, but I'll put that on a, on a different video. Um, obviously, before you leave any town, load up your belly with food uh, and, stay, and save all the, the freeze-dried food and the nuts and, and water and, and coffee that you can pack on you uh, for later on in the trip. Even though it's only going to be about, um, I reckon about three hours, they say, till the next village, if I can find the trailhead. <laughs> um, so uh, um, that's the intent for today, just to get to that next village, because I basically, I love camping wild, but I think it's going to dump a whole load of another, uh, more snow tonight. And if not, it's, I think it'll definitely rain. It's forecast for rain for the next two days. And that's the main priority. If you're going into any mountain region, uh, the first thing you've got to check, even if you're not much of a planner like me, you must check the weather forecast for the next week. Absolute must. Uh, that's the main thing that I don't want to go into, you know, great details, but that's the main thing that uh, a lot of people die of uh, in mountain ranges and in going up mountains is because they don't check the weather or the possibilities of weather. If in the forecast it, there's any possibility of bad weather, go prepared for it or basically don't go that day. That's my uh, basic advice to you. Anyway, we're going to go back into town <laughs> and find the proper where the trailhead actually uh, uh, leaves from. Uh, so I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'll see you back again um, probably tomorrow in the mountains unless there's something amazingly dramatic. Anyway, toodaloo for now. See you in a bit.